Hi friends, welcome or welcome back. My name's Angel and today we're off to Home Goods. Let's go shopping. I always love to take a quick peek at the vessels or vases, whatever your preference to call them, and this one really captured my attention. It was a dark green, almost black marble vase, but what I found so interesting was that it was so sculptural in nature, just this nice smooth cylindrical piece. And then we can't forget that I am ever, ever in love with all of these highly textured white and off-white vessels. I think that you just can't go wrong with these in any area of any type of home. They're so neutral in color and that highly textured surface and that aged appearance adds so much character to any space. And you guys, I so am loving these wonderful, what I would call a European print on these glazed vessels of these beautiful floral patterns. So stunning. And while we're speaking of a stunner, this planter that is so sculpture in nature is just unbelievable. The texture and detail in her face was just unbelievable. We've been seeing a lot of these wonderful patterned glass at CB2, Crate and Barrel, and I love this tortoise pattern on this carafe and glass. It was so unique, I did purchase it, and I am going to use it to keep my mouthwash in on my bathroom countertop. And this little two-tiered glass shelf absolutely had the European vibes just running for me. It just reminded me of something you would see covered with wonderful, beautiful pastries in a little coffee shop in the corner somewhere in Paris. If it would have been black or an antiqued gold, it would have absolutely made its way into my cart. And I always love the furniture at Home Goods. I really liked this rattan outdoor set. I thought it was just perfect. I liked the contrast between the white linen and that warm brown in the rattan. I really liked these gray modern dining chairs. I thought they would be perfect with a wood table that was kind of rustic, giving you that juxtaposition of the refined modern chair with something a little more hewn like a farm table. These really were giving me a Pottery Barn vibe with this sweet little pink and gray and cream stripe and this little skirting around the bottom. These would be a great addition to a bedroom or even a sitting room with a small table. These little benches or ottomans I thought were fantastic. The detailing in this channel and this nice, very neutral gray-ish velvet is just spectacular. They have the two smaller, then a medium and a large. Very, very expensive looking. This time Home Goods had a really nice selection of small side tables, ottomans, and stools. I love the fabric and the leather ottomans. I think they're a great staple. But this pair of little ottomans or stools that had both the warm wood and then this roped detailing for texture, I thought were really nice. I've never seen this olive tree at any of my home goods and it was absolutely beautiful. I would say it was probably almost seven and a half feet tall and $249 with this beautiful variation in the leaves and a great stone pot. I never have any luck at home goods with faux greenery, but on this trip I did. I loved how realistic these gardenias, I think they are, let me know in the comments if you know if they are or aren't, just really hit home. They were 48 inches in length and there were four stems for only $19.99. I always love to check out the artwork and the frames while at Home Goods, and they continue to have some beautiful frames. Again, these are a beautiful matted frame. These were 16 by 20, and I just think you can't go wrong. There are so many uses, and these gold ones, I would be tempted, as I've said before, if you needed to even leave this print in the frame without changing it. It had a beautiful gold detailing and it looked like a pencil drawing. I still keep my eye out for the perfect landscape. I really liked this one, but I'm looking for something just a little bit moodier and with a bit more green in it. But they had some lovely prints. This particular print really caught my eye. We've seen a lot of these sepia-toned 
drawings with McGee and Co. And this one was really unique in this horizontal positioning. I was really drawn to this particular print as well. It almost reminded me of a penciled watercolor mixed media art and I thought it was really lovely and the frame had a beautiful gold and gray undertone to it. A very nice piece. I always like to check the candles and lantern section as well and they had a really good variety. This particular five candle candelabra really caught my eye for $29.99. It came in both a hammered black and a gold. I felt like this was a really good buy. I've seen these in a three candle at Walmart for $57 as well as on Amazon for around $40. You'll see in the backdrop there this sweet little brass and glass lantern or maybe terrarium. I loved the sweet detail on the side of this slide slip lock and I loved that the placement for candles or faux greenery, whatever you're putting in, is at the side. It was $29.99 and I thought that was very reasonable. I also was loving the twisted brass looking. They were very lightweight, so I don't think they were brass, but more of a plated candlestick. But they came in two sizes, and they looked very substantial, and they were a beautiful piece. I think those would be great on a buffet, in the center of a coffee table, on a kitchen table, just a variety of places. And still loving all of the beautiful colored blown glass looking candlesticks as well. So I made my way on over to the lighting section and I was so excited. I thought that these two lamps were just breathtaking. I loved that high textured glaze pottery look mixed with the warm woods. I was so tempted here and for $49.99 a piece you couldn't go wrong. They also had some beautiful brass and glass media lamps. I really liked this ribbed all clear glass. We've seen this before in a cylindrical shape at places like RH, but I really like the variation in this with the ribbing. Also really loved this candlestick type lamp with the mixed materials as well with the brass and the marble. I also thought that these two little blue glazed stone and floral print lamps were just adorable. They really gave me a very cottage and kind of country chic vibe and they were very, very substantial. I do have to say though, I was surprised that the price even marked down were $100 a piece. And we always talk about adding in different layers and textures. I've seen a lot of different lampshades at Home Goods, but this is the first time that I have seen these individual rattan shades. What a really, really easy option to add texture in seasonally for a very low budget. And it wouldn't be a trip to Home Goods without checking out the textile section. Loving all the blue and the floral patterns. I like that we're seeing some of this mustard gold green even within the spring and summer season. Lots of extra heavy detailing with these velvety materials as well and also with that braiding around the edge of some of the pillows we saw before. And this was a find, speaking of summer, these beach blankets were so fun. They felt like a muslin linen material and they came in two different sizes at my home goods. They had fringe detailing on the edge. They had this wonderful little tassel detail. The patterns were varied, as you can see. They had some floral prints, some stripes, just a variety that I thought would be really fun for a trip to the beach or the pool this summer. And I'm also still, like I said before, really appreciating these dual packed pillows. I think it's a great value, loving all the patterns and prints, but I really loved this sweet little ruffle detail on the edge of this beige pillow. And as I walked around the corner of the end cap, they had some kind of a peach coral and a mauve and a cornflower blue. And then they also had the coordinating throw or blanket. 
loving the pattern on pattern detail in these again like a muslin linen material i love that they are making them in a reversible pattern that we see in this blue with this little stitching dot detail you can go with the blue or if you want you can flip it over and use the cream i think a lot of versatility there and for me on this shopping trip i did purchase one of the five candle candelabras but i went with the hammered brass i really love it on our buffet i think it will look equally as lovely on the dining room table it was just a really versatile piece and i loved it i also got those great stems and have been enjoying those as well again let me know in the comments are they gardenias i think that they are but for the rest of the video please enjoy and thank you so much for watching until next time stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. <music>